This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at molecular geometry for the higher level. We will start by looking at molecules with five electron domains around the central atom. Our first example is PCL5, which is phosphorus pentachloride. By looking at the Lewis structure, we can see there are five electron domains around the central atom. The five electron domains are all bonding domains with zero lone pairs of electrons. The electron domain geometry and the molecular geometry are both trigonal bipyramidal. The bond angles are 90 degrees and 120 degrees. The next example is SF4, which is sulfur tetrafluoride. If we look at the Lewis structure, we can see there are five electron domains around the central atom. Four of these are bonding domains and we have one lone pair of electrons. The electron domain geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. The molecular geometry is seesaw and the bond angles are less than 90 degrees and less than 120 degrees. Next we have ClF3 which is chlorine trifluoride. By looking at the Lewis structure we can see there are five electron domains around the central atom, three of which are bonding domains with two lone pairs of electrons. The electron domain geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. The molecular geometry is T-shaped and the bond angle is less than 90 degrees. In the last example with five electron domains, we have I3 negative, which is the triiodide ion. The triiodide ion has two bonding domains and three lone pairs of electrons around the central atom. The electron domain geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. The molecular geometry is linear and the bond angle is 180 degrees. Next, we look at molecules with six electron domains around the central atom, starting with SF6, which is sulfur hexafluoride. By looking at the Lewis structure, we can see there are six bonding domains around the central atom. The electron domain geometry and the molecular geometry are both octahedral, and the bond angle is 90 degrees. The next example is BrF5, which is bromine pentafluoride. By looking at the Lewis structure, we can see there are five bonding domains and one lone pair of electrons around the central atom. The electron domain geometry is octahedral. The molecular geometry is square pyramidal and the bond angle is less than 90 degrees. In our last example, we have XeF4, which is xenon tetrafluoride. By looking at the Lewis structure, we can see there are four bonding domains and two lone pairs of electrons around the central atom. The electron domain geometry is octahedral, the molecular geometry is square planar, and the bond angle is 90 degrees. 